All right, um, I want to start class by well, explaining what tonight's assignment is. Uh, tonight's assignment is to do this sheet that's in front of you, but there'll be a link that you can check out a video, but I'm going to show you, you might not need the video to watch. I'm going to show you how to do it, so you'll click on the simulation link, and it's really pretty super, super easy. Now pay attention, everybody look up. Do not, do not, do not click on this intro. Click on the lab. Click. And then you're told to put the um, 100 gram mass on that. Check it out. Now you, you're asked to find the period of that, of that oscillating system. And if you're really smart, you don't time one full vibration, you do what instead. Like we did in the lab. Time 10 and divide by 10. Now here's another smart thing. How are you going to time it? Drag out this little timer, put it in slow motion. Why? Check it out, it'll be so easy. If you're in slow motion, well, now you can wait till it gets to the bottom and press go. And you time 10 and divide by 10. Now, if you, now you don't have to do that. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't want it in slow. Maybe you just think I can time 10, no problem. I, I personally would slow it down. But, and then you're asked to put, um, then you have to put the red one on to find its period and the blue one on to find its period. So, whoa, that's definitely one. Whoa, that was surprising, wasn't it? So how do you know when it goes to the bottom? Yeah, you should see. You know what? Then you, that's very smart. So what I would suggest you do is stop it and then just pull it down a little bit. Yeah, you can stop it. Okay. And now you know maybe maybe normal wouldn't be bad, right? See, this is so slow that I now I can do this in a normal speed and just press. When it hits the bottom, I press go, and you do 10. So you'll have to find it too. It's not much of a homework. That's why on top of this homework, I'm asking you to plot the data. Get out your lab real quick. It's pretty simple. Uh, the lab with the oscillating weights on the screen. Remember we did that? Oh, look at you did it already. Oh. Put a nice, beautiful, smooth curve through the smooth, smooth plot. Let's go get a big ruler. Um, did some of you do it already? Well, look at Grace did it already. We must have a fast group, Grace. Oh, yeah. We're always ahead, aren't we? Oh, we're always, we're always stuck in the She went pow right there. <laughs> she, 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 that was called going yes. pow. You know, now, remember, you don't want it to do every single point. You want to find some of the trend. I would suggest that it goes to zero, zero. I think that last one's kind of funky. Did he do... say it was going to be funky though? Did he say it was going to be funky? Uh, that's a nice little time. I would do it down the video to do it. Did you see that I did that? Yeah. That was a little too funny. That's why I did it so lightly at first. You know, when you do your first one, I do it super lightly so it erases easily. And yeah, this is another one. You can just go. So I would go through zero, zero. Because, you know, I mean, naturally, I think this would go to zero, zero. This plot. That's a, but if you want to, you, you, you're good on that, girls. You know what you need to do. So you actually don't have to do that part of the homework because you can pass through. Who else needs a? Who wants to? Who wants to put this line yes. through? First, feather light so it races easily. And then you make little adjustments. Maybe you go bigger than that, small than that. So that's your homework to, to plot the a period versus a radical end. That would create a linear plot. Um, so that's homework. You should be finished for really very quickly. Uh, let's go into the lesson. Um, get out. We were doing the pendulum, and we were talking about period in a pendulum. Who remembers what the period of pendulum depends upon? Only two things. The period of the pendulum depends only on two things. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, basically, I'm saying, look at the equation. Uh, don't be a rocket scientist. It's length and the acceleration due to gravity. Um, now, really, everything on the surface then only depends on the length. Unless you change planets to go to the moon, everything really, it only depends on length. So I'm going to get back to this in a little bit. Um, did you figure out where I left off? Oh, okay. So when I'm done with this prayer, we'll uh, start things going. Oh, thank you, Grace. Yeah, the second thing, right? Pendulum. The pendulum. What number, Grace? Three. Three. Like on top of things today. Super on top of things. Number three. 
Really? Okay, let me do the prayer and we'll get back to you. Help me, Grace. Let me know we left off in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is uh, today, is the 27th. My destiny is in your hands. Everything is in God's hands, my earthly life, its length, its circumstances, everything that happens, whether good or bad, its trials and events. Therefore, my life is in good hands, which will connect and guard me with eternal wisdom and love, with lasting faithfulness and mercy. How can I now fear anything? A heavenly Father, you always will will what is best for me. Guide me to my own good, according to your will. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All right, so we were using this pendulum formula. You said we did three. Good. And we so we're up to four. Okay, let's let's see how it works. All right. So, okay, let me oops, get out of here. So let's do what we always do. So let's get the old pen ready and underline with the information. It's a pendulum, so that matters. It's a mass M. It's attached to a vertical string L. Moves uh, uh, up a distance of, there's your H. Um, what is this maximum speed? Um, actually, what's the, this is kind of an old question. In the sense, it's based, the solution is based upon what big, big, big concept in physics about the maximum speed and the height, you know, do you know that, Juliana? Like it swings to a height and it stops, and then it comes back to the middle and the bottom. How would I find the speed at the middle if I knew the height, which we do know the height? What kind of energy does it have at the ends? Oh, only PE. And what's that big principle I'm kind of giving you a good hint at? It's, uh, what's that big? Terrific. Conservation of energy, right? So you know that the M, the potential energy at the end equals the, and we can see, look at that, ma mass doesn't matter in this equation. And so now we have to find V, so we multiply both sides by 2 to clear that fraction. And then we take the square root. How easy is this? So you're going to have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of con old stuff, conservation of energy in this unit, radical 2GH. Did you follow all that? Let's write COE, even though we can't write it on a test or or a, an AP, we could write conservation of energy. Thank you, Juliana. Conservation of energy. The PE, we could write the PE at the ends equal the KE at the bottom. Okay, what does it turn out to be? Let's say 2 times 10 times, I guess it's a, what's that? Uh, is it 2? Is it this right here? Right, two, 2 times 10 times 0.2 is 4. Yeah, isn't it? Let me check my, check my key. <laughs> What's in that canister? I'm off the diet, so I'm not, I was so dehydrated because all I drank for four days straight was diet coke. Let's back, get back on that wagon. I was like actually so no matter how long it takes. Get back on that wagon. Okay. So four is good, girls. All good? Uh, okay. This one's a little tougher. Five. Underline like we always do. We've got a pendulum mass M, vertical string, string length L, an angle of theta. Um, what's the concept here? When the pendulum is released from rest, what is the speed at the lowest point? Once again, it's the, the soil. It's the... We want to find that speed in the middle. What's the big concept here? Oh, yeah, right. COE, which says that MGH, the potential energy, oops, the potential energy at the end, at the maximum height, equals M, MGH equals one half MB squared, and then cross out the M's. And we want to solve for, once again, what do you solve for? The so once again, it's 2 GH equals V squared. So it's exactly the problem before, but except for one little twist, there is no answer to radical 2 GH. Huh. Well, because, you know, they didn't give us H. They did, however, give us theta. And how do we get H? Let's write this down over here. H equals, remember we learned this in the beginning of the year? L minus. L right. 
Oh, co see that? You thought that wouldn't end up. So clearly it's this answer here, isn't it? Does that make sense to you? Huh? Makes sense? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Now this is, wow, this is back to the old stuff, right? Does anybody, this is actually an energy question. It's about what? What kind of energy? Let's see, potential energy. And this will definitely be on the test. Um, what do you know? Let's let's review this. What do we know about the potential energy? Where is it maximum in this oscillating? Yeah. That's the A. Beautiful. Let's write PE max. PE max and PE max. <clears throat> Terrific. What do we know always about the middle in terms of energy? PE max and in the middle? Okay. KE max. And of course, I think you also know that P equals zero, right? P equals zero in the middle, right? Okay, no P equals zero. So now, the other thing you should know before you can answer this question, I'm going to write it down. P E for, for, for spring equals one half, K, remember this, KX squared? Now, let's pick a plot. With, this is all P E, where the P E is zero in the middle, but greatest at the ends. Which one is the correct one, Ms. Doyle? A. Uh, very good, but wait a second. I bet some people are saying, wait a second, I, I get A, but why don't you pick D? Let's go over there by D and say, what, let's talk about why we didn't pick it. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's so good. It's linear. So let's write over here PE equals one half KX squared. And this is not a linear relationship. Terrific. Wow, very impressive. And let's write not linear. Not a linear relationship between P, E, and X. Very good. It's actually that curve relationship, that direct squared. Excellent. All right, can I X this out? Where'd it go? Doy, oh. Okay, how about the, let's underline, we want the KE plot now. Now, what do we know about the, this mayor? What about, when's that KE the greatest? At what position? Let's put it in the picture. KE greatest or KE max where? In the middle, so let's go to zero and write KE max. And um, what do we know about the ends? KE equals how much at the end? Zero. zero. On both sides, write KE equals zero. So let's write KE zero. It stops temporarily. KE zero. And KE max. This is, we've got to know your energy of this. Um, you know, you're going to have to know this. This will be on the test. Even though it's energy, it's still simple harmonic motion. So now I, I'm not going to ask Ms. Doyle because I know she knows this already. So I'm going to ask you, which one of these A, B, C, D, or E correctly shows a plot of K, E, and X, which is the stretch from the equilibrium position? What do you think? Lynch. B. B is in boy. B is in boy. And, of course, Ms. Doyle will say we got that's not a linear plot. Don't pick that linear one. Don't pick um, – don't pick C. This is not a linear relationship. Let's once again write over there by her choice. P equals one half kx squared. This is a direct square relationship. Good for you. Good. We're moving through this nice. Ah, now you've got this uh, 0.9 kg block, unstretched spring constant, wobbling back and forth. The block is released from rest. How long does it? Oh, this is really interesting. Could you underline that question? Because actually, what are they looking for? How long does it take it to go back to its back to its initial position? What's that called? We have a word for that. It's called what word do we use for how much time it takes to get back to the original position? What is it, Slinch? Yeah. Period. Everybody write period. Uh, so really, that it's a, let's write t equals question mark because that's exactly what they're asking. So let's see. Can you remember the the old equation? So this is the old stuff. Is two pi. Radical m over k, you'll have these equations available for t, so not to memorize it. Um, so let's plug in. So is 2 pi radical, what's the m? 0.9 kg, substitute with units, times the k that they give me. Oh, you know what? Let's write this over here. Let's write, put, this is k. So we now know newtons per meter, that's k. The spring constant is k. So 10 uh, newtons per meter, and that would be, of course, equals 2 pi radical, isn't that 0.09? Isn't that just radical 0.09? Because 0.9 divided by 0 0.9 divided by 10 is 0.09. And I think the radical of that is 
point three. three. So the answer is actually choice. Choice E. Choice E is in Edward. Okay. So good girls. This is not too bad, is it, this topic? Is it, Gigi? What do you think? Not too bad. You like it? You wouldn't go that far, right? I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, that's a little bit. <laughs> Let's go back. Remember how we left a lot of blank from the previous sheet because we couldn't do it? Let's go back and do the stuff we left blank. What was the first one we didn't do because we didn't know it? We'll get back to the sheet. I just want to get all the multiple choice done. Wait, is it the same topic? Uh, yeah, it's just the back to the oscillating. I think it's back to this guy. What number did we skip? We six, not six. six okay. Um, actually, could you cross out and six? Seven. And let's do seven. Oh, that's interesting. It's about um, an oscillating system. One's mass and a spring. One's a pendulum. Who who remembers? Who actually doesn't even knows it right in their head? Who knows the spring? It's t equals two pi radical. Anybody know it off the hand? I'm over here. I think a mic. I know somehow I think and I was trying to remember mic. All right, this one over here is t equals two pi. L over G, I don't know how you remember L L G, I don't know. Oh L G. Like the you know electronics. Let's tell Lane in What? Okay, uh don't, don't, I didn't say anything. Nothing. What? Nothing. Okay, so these are the two equations. We put them on either side, and it says the mass is each system is doubled. Now do you this is a relationship question. What's our rule? Everything that is doesn't change becomes a one. Ready? To do this with me. T is proportional. Well, that doesn't change. That's a one. That doesn't change. That's a one. So, right? So everything that doesn't change is put this down, Gigi. <laughs> this, is, this is the learning skills. Jeez, I know you're tired, Nolan. <laughs> this is proportional. That's so very important. Now, now look at that right hand side. I don't have to do anything. Why? Because I know. What about the pendulum and changing mass? What's, what, what should we write under that? Has no effect, right? How come I know it has no it's not in the equation? So has no effect. So the pendulum's period won't change. There's no mass in the equation. How nice is that? So it's either B, C, or D, right? B, C. What is it? It's D as a dog? B? Oh well, no, because if you double this, this will change by radical two, and that will change by radical. See the see that? You know, because it's before, directly proportional, not inversely proportional. Right. See? So you plug in the change and see where it is. And you see that it's in a radical. So now do you see that it is a D is a dog? Yeah. Not bad. It's good. You really need to leave me knowing how to use that, um, you know, change things into one. Things that don't change become a one. We did this one already? And we did nine? No, uh, yeah, we did nine. Did we do ten? Yeah. We did 10 too? Mm -hmm. Did we do 11? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. We're, we're so good. 12. I think we did everything. Okay, go back to the other one. No. We'll do a little more. Just a little, like a little tiny bit more. Can we not do the. Are we ahead of the juniors now? Can we stop? I'm just leave the I don't want to leave the juniors too far behind. Yeah. They get stressed out.